Okay. Hello class, Mr. Balker here, and I'm gonna go over our assignments for the week, um, one by one, of course. Uh, this first one that we've got here is subunit one. Starting all over. Giggity, 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 go. Hello class, Mr. Balker here. I'm gonna cover our assignment in Amplify real fast. What we've got is unit 7C, brain science. Subunit one, Phineas Gage. Lesson five. We're gonna go a little bit farther into this whole tale of Phineas Gage and what happened to him, okay? This lesson is called Wash Your Hands. It's kind of funny that we're doing this lesson in the middle of this crazy pandemic because uh, washing our hands has certainly proven to be something important recently. Uh, it's something that I guess people haven't given as much thought to as they do now uh, because it's certainly absolutely critical these days. So, on this lesson, there's only a couple things to do. It's not really a very tough one at all. You're going to want to go to slide number two, right? But basically on slide number two, they're talking about bacteria. Now, the reason we're talking about bacteria is Phineas Gage had a giant metal rod driven through his head. That opens up his body to the risk of bacterial infection, okay? Stuff gets in that's not supposed to be in. That's what your skin does, guys. Your skin keeps stuff out, ideally, okay? And so when you get a cut, the reason it can be very bad and get infected and get gross is because we get bacteria inside us and it's not supposed to be there. So our body has an immune response to get rid of that stuff. So the reason all this is important is what you want to do is read this article, okay? It <coughs> discusses specifically how the brain is protected inside the head and it talks about their understanding at the time of what could happen if you have an injury, if something gets into you, what, what are the things called? So all you have to do on slide two is answer this question here, A, B, C, D, or E, and then right underneath it, it wants you to highlight a little bit of the text to defend your answer. So whichever one of these you choose that you think, okay, this is the right answer, find proof here and say, the reason I chose this is because this section says that. That's it. Shouldn't take you but five, five, six minutes to read the article and then answer that question. That's half the assignment. The other half of the assignment is over here on slide number six, where it says, independent work, short answer. This is the exact same article you just read, okay? There's a question right here that says, why do you wash your hands before eating? Use at least one piece of information from this reading to support your answer. I just want about 50 words or so. Explain to me, why do you wash your hands and find proof that that's a good idea in this document? That's it. Really easy one, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon.